Reno River Park today, and we're going to talk about a little health and fitness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're what? really outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aya, huh? let you take it away. Huh? Okay, so yeah, we're at the Eno River Park. It's a state park here. And um, we're gonna go on a hike. We're gonna go over some bridges, look at some waterfalls, and, and then get terrorized by bugs. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But of course, since we're out here in nature, we wanna talk about health and wellness. Mm hmm. And, um, and we wanna show that, you know, black girls, we are involved with nature as well because right. it's just something that you don't normally see. So, and we wanna get into meditations. Yes. You know, um, People meditate for different reasons, different moods, so we want to get into that as well. I feel like this is a nice atmosphere, a nice place to meditate. Right. So, we're going to catch in a few. Yep. Stick around. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, we finally found a spot to sit in quietness and get back to you guys. As you see, we're on this lovely log. Um, we're sitting in front of this river, this such serene um, scene that we have. Um, so what we want to talk about so far is give you guys an update on our health and fitness, what we've been doing lately. Um, for me personally, I it's only been two days, but I've been doing this periodically, which I have not been eating meat here and there. And what inspired me to do it, I just want to be a healthier person and just challenge myself. And actually, I've been doing so good so so far. Um, I've lost a pound in two days. But yeah. Hey, <laughs> so, I have been on the challenge too. Um, I mean, I had a 14-day no-meat challenge. Um, I've explored the options of possibly becoming a vegetarian or vegan, but I realized I love meat way too much we can tell and I, <laughs> shut up <Mike. laughs> and pretty much like i mean you can still eat healthy and and eat meat so i've just decided to start doing these cleanses where i'll go without meat for 14 days and i did it and i felt like i was less bloated um i really enjoyed it and then recently i decided to start getting up early in the morning to go run for like 30 minutes i did that for three days last week and i haven't done it again so I'm going to try to get back into that. But that was also great, too. It's a great um, early morning start when you're able to work out. It helps wake you up and, you know, energize you for the morning. So that's where I'm at. Okay. Um, me, I'm trying to get back in the gym. I've been out of the gym for about four months now. You know, I don't look like I've been out the gym, but I've been out the gym. <laughs> I'm going to get back in. Um, I tried the no meat challenge. Didn't work. For me too well because i don't cook a lot because i'm always busy i'm always on the go so i need stuff that's quick and easy for me and um cooking prep meals sis prep meals and oh. i can prep i need to get into prepping i'm actually considering that so i can yeah. stop making excuses because i've been making a lot of excuses um so my diet's pretty much not changing at all i'm just regular schmegler we go we gonna get into that we're gonna get it back though because i want us to have a challenge here too and you brought that up um a few weeks ago how you want us to do a a vegetarian or a vegan challenge mm -hmm. so i feel like or even if it's just something small like cutting out sweets and sodas yeah. for whatever amount it. of days yeah i'm totally with it and one more thing i meant to add like i'm i don't have a concrete goal is to like just be vegetarian or pescatarian i just think it's a, it's really important that we just challenge ourselves on a daily just to see what you're capable of doing mm -hmm. i do like the whole pescatarian lifestyle though because yes. you can eat eggs which is what i love like lately i've eaten eggs and grits like for breakfast and I, could do the I actually ate too. an omelet for my first time uh last week it didn't even taste like omelet because i don't that's eat okay eggs. because she doesn't oh, like eggs yeah i don't eat eggs but that omelet oh my god <laughs> that lady put her foot in it okay <laughs> it was well, the mom that bad. and they're a great source of protein, protein yeah yeah so. and then i also discovered this um vegetarian meat um, one of them is the Morning Star. Their um, veggie sausage is very tasty to me. It doesn't taste like sausage. It tastes like liver, but I don't know how you guys enjoy that. But it's good to me, especially if you eat it with grits. I like liver mush. And then liver mush. And then there's also brand Beyond Meat. Um, I just tried it. So like, there's always alternatives, you know, to try things right. and see how you like it. Like 
I'm nasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all ready? Okay. All right, so we're going to get into meditating and, you know, where to meditate, how to meditate, uh, what apps to use to meditate. Um, we personally use Simple Habit app, and Javada put us on that app. Yep. Um, I started using Headspace. Headspace. Um, check that out as well for those who may not like Headspace. And other people have other methods of meditating, but we're going to get into that another day. I think Simple Habit is great just because it's for beginners. Like, if you're not mm-hmm. really familiar with with meditating it's a guided meditation mm-hmm. I like it too. so you can meditate about literally anything if you just went through a breakup if you have a job interview when do you meditate well i mean like when do you meditate like i like to take i, I meditate for like i meditated before an interview i meditate just when i'm feeling down and i need kind of like a self-love type of pick me up so i that's that's the, i meditate about a different stuff you know relationships all of that speaking positivity into your life all that lately i've been meditating every morning like honestly mm. and it's not like it's just i'm trying to make it a, um a habit i don't know if i ever share it with you guys but um you may laugh but my ultimate goal is to be a hippie and so i just want to always be at peace and be one with myself and so lately i've been meditating every morning with my green tea and um green tea is really great for you too it like moves your whole system it just gives you energy and things like that so i mean also i don't always use apps to meditate i just play music that I feel like that right. connects with me and sitting quiet. Hold on, cut that. So, um, I usually meditate when I'm upset, stressed out, had a long day. Um, For everything. Yeah, really. But I'm trying to actually think of stuff I actually go through. Um, sometimes with relationships you need to meditate so you don't speak too soon on something like right. say if my partner has made me upset about something I'm sometimes I a just petty I want y'all to know this is real life First if y'all hear baby off. screaming in the background don't cut me off if you hear baby screaming mm-hmm. in the background we sorry now okay. I gotta meditate cause she being rude I meditate for stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> but um, in relationships like you know if you and your partner have a disagreement or something you know sometimes just go in the other room five minute meditation yep. and with simple habit app it's a five minute guided um or you can do 10 minutes whatever you you know want to do um it's a guided meditation like she said before um it's very helpful and for beginners so yeah so i think you guys should check it out but get into this scene though like yeah i can actually I really come like out it. here and do this you can meditate out here you can hear the sound of the water just close your eyes and drink it all in Let, let's do that for 30 seconds everybody 30 just close your eyes you want to do that for 30 seconds how about 10 15. seconds Okay, 10 seconds. Close your eyes and just take take your environment in. Tell us when to go. Listen to the sound of the water. And just take it all in. Taking deep breaths will also help. Mm-hmm. Five seconds. Three, two, two and a quarter. One zero, and just breathe out. <laughs> Hopefully, when she meditates, she don't talk to her damn self. <laughs> when I meditate, I don't talk. I don't or know what I'm doing. I'm doing that because I had to let them know. Because we would. But be if y'all meditating with us, then you know that I hope that helped. I hope Naj helped. I know we were a little silly, but it's just a good this day out here. So great. beautiful out here, y'all. And like, we just really wanted to introduce that aspect for the girlfriends podcast because. It's not something that I, I feel that is normally done in, with the this, black in the black community. Yeah. And we're out here on rocks in the middle of like just nature. So we just want to show others too that we're diverse and we can acclimate to different environments and do different right. things. I already told them I want to take my wig off and jump just in jump this in water. All right. right, all right. Nah, so, but, nah, but everybody take your wig off. <laughs> but I also think another important thing that we have to acknowledge is that in our lives now, we're so focused on doing everything that we don't take time to drink in our environment. Mm-hmm, so right. like taking hikes like this, you can really look out and appreciate nature and appreciate yes. your surroundings. Appreciate life. Appreciate life, yes. And so, the higher power. You might not take a hike, but maybe if you take a walk through your neighborhood, just kind of like put your phone away and just take it all in. Take it all in. That's meditation right there. Um, yeah. I can stay out here. We, can, we need to go camping. We might bring that to y'all soon. Girlfriend's Do y'all podcast. Go camping. Go with camping. Us? Let's have a retreat. I'm with it. I don't know if Naj can. 
because she don't like bugs. But I'm with it. Yeah, I don't. I don't do these. Like it's been gnats and stuff right here. I'm scared of heights. Well, I'm not necessarily scared of heights. It gives me anxiety. Yeah. Um, bugs. That's a no for me. Hey, they gonna be out there. You but I, I like to go camping in the winter time where it's less bugs. So. <laughs> Well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. We're about to hike our way back to our cars. It's been fun. And we'll see you in a sec.